AMM affects post-fade sends such as left-right and effects, but not direct outs or pre-fade sends such as monitor mixes. It may be useful to change pre-fade monitor sends to post-fade for the AMM gain element to maintain control over levels in monitor mixes as well. Change mix pre-post-fade settings in the routing mix sends tab and touch the pre-post switches on the screen. Using an audio group could allow for overall EQ or dynamic control of the AMM channels before sending to the left-right mixes or matrixes. First, unassign AMM channels from the left-right mix before passing through the group. Select the input channel, go to Mix Sends and touch the on-off button on screen assigning the channel to left-right. To assign channels to a group, go to Routing, Group Sends. Now touch the on-off switches to assign the channels to the group. Audio groups and matrixes are not available on Q16. It might also be useful to use a DCA group for overall control of AMM channels if you have other input sources such as playback through the PA. This could give you overall control of the speech mics in relation to other sources. Channels can be added to DCA groups in routing, mute DCA group assign. Press the FN button to access DCA group masters for naming and block channel assignment. To name DCA groups, touch the edit name field, type the name and touch OK. Channels can be assigned in the DCA Group Assign tab. Touch the In-Out switch for every channel you wish to add to the DCA Group. Enhanced Feature Access in QPad 1.8 allows setup and control of AMM. AMM Control Panel can be found under Setup Audio AMM. Setup works in exactly the same way as it does on the console. AMM is also available as a channel widget which can be dragged into the custom layers. When selected this shows the AMM control panel in the channel processing view and can be added alongside other channels or widgets. For more information please visit allen-heath.com